Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. All right, it is time right now for this week's Steam Series, and our focus this morning is engineering and math. And it's really cool. Amber Lee yeah. is joining us with her story. Amber, can't right, wait so to it's check almost it like, you know, the cartoon, the Jetsons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> over everything. <laughs> well, this man created a contraption that allows him to lift off and fly over a crowded sidewalk. Meet the LA creator who calls himself the Sky Surfer Engineer. Transported to the airport. Check. Carried into the hangar. Check. Blades attached. Bolts tight. Batteries loaded. And moments later, lift off and a spectacle begins. I have like a big passion for the art of flight. Meet Hunter Kowald. I call myself the Sky Surfer Engineer. Hunter doesn't just pilot the Sky Surfer hovercraft, he invented it. And with his own two hands, built it from scratch. This is definitely the world's smallest, most powerful aircraft that you can stand on and fly around. Hunter has been creating flying machines since he was 10 years old. His first. My dad and I, we built a, uh, a little hovercraft uh, powered by a leaf blower and it floated around our garage. Just as Hunter is floating around today, inside this hangar at Tomorrow's Aerospace Museum at the Compton Airport. Of all the STEAM disciplines, Hunter relies most on engineering and math. This contraption. So it's got 10 blades all together, very strategically placed and calibrated to where it creates a, a crazy amount of power. Because he used his own savings to build this, Hunter needed to be sure it was likely to work. Before he purchased a single part, he modeled it all using computer assisted design. Doing like strength testing so I understand like what fails and what can fail. Each propeller has its own exact position and its own battery. To get the most flight out of every charge, Hunter had to shave weight wherever possible. The frame, which is stronger than steel, is made from lightweight carbon fiber. And some of these little bolts could cost like $14 a bolt, and that's because they're titanium. When every ounce matters and you need to be safe in the sky, Hunter spares no expense and no effort. I can have two motors fail, still land safely. Hunter got his degree in mechanical engineering and has since worked in industrial design. As a student, Hunter struggled most with math, but sticking with it gave him resilience, and that's been key. I had multiple instances where I damaged something that I spent 12 hours creating, but then it was just like, okay, back to the drawing board. Hunter's success with the Sky Surfer has attracted sponsors who now capture his flights with cameras and crews of their own. Next up for him? I haven't pushed the limits on distance yet, but I will soon. I'm actually going to try and break a Guinness World Record. His advice to aspiring flyers? You just start exploring. Once you put all the puzzle pieces together, it's gold. Ah, so cool. Hunter hopes to mass market the Sky Surfer within the next few years for fun in the city and for lifeguard rescue operations on the beach. For more on STEAM careers, go to cbsla.com slash STEAM. Go, Hunter, go. And we remember when he flew over Times Square. Yeah. And DeMarco had the funniest comment. You remember what you said? <laughs> yeah, it was something I, I can't believe they, he got it past NYPD or something like that, but it was something crazy. I probably said something that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> He went viral too, so love so to Suzanne's like, him. like, let's get DeMarco in trouble. Funny. Can you yeah, say yeah, it yeah. one more time? <laughs> no, but really, good job to Isn't him so and, cool? and how smart he is. And you look at those uh, equations, those math equations, yeah. mathematical oh. problems. I'm like, whoa, he lost yeah. me right there. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> and he says, you know, if two motors fail, it could still fly. Wow. So that's so awesome. Dope. Go, Hunter. <laughs>